Hold on, boys. All right, Megan, you got to guess which twin is which. Oh, you told me. And I oh, oh, you forgot. I really struggled mentally, and then as soon as I started. Brilliant drawing. Who's that? This is what I've done with my dressing room. I've then put my... It used to get to me quite a lot, but now I went to the doctors. They got me in for an emergency two-week scan. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. So we're currently in the car on the way to London. We have got, like, our first little event today and it is with megan it's the move with megan baby mum and baby event but fab's coming <laughs> the only guy apart from niall megan's husband i'm the only guy there so that's going to be interesting but are you doing a talk i don't know if yeah, we're I both think so. doing a talk yeah yeah doing a little talk there and yeah it'll be fun we've never we've never done anything like this before and it's now it's going to be fun I feel like we're at a stage with the boys where we can go and do stuff like this. So it's super, super exciting. Yeah. We've got quite a lengthy drive to London because we do live quite far away from London, but that's okay. Right, it says the traffic isn't too bad at the no. moment. <laughs> we were going to stay in London tonight. We were, but it's then, bank holiday. It's a yeah. bank holiday weekend. So it was like really, really expensive. So we're going to try and do something with the boys after, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and then drive home when it gets to their bedtime. Yeah, put them in their pyjamas, give them their milk and then drive home and hopefully they'll sleep then the whole way home. Yeah, I don't know whether, are we going to we'll probably end up hanging out with Megan and Niall after the event? I don't know what their plans are. It'll be nice for the boys to meet Winnie. That's yeah. going to be interesting. How old is Winnie? She's like... I think she's like nearly one. She nearly won. Yeah. That'll be so, that'll be funny to see yeah. what they like with a little girl. We don't have an awful lot of friends with like babies and stuff. So when we do meet up with people who have babies of similar ages, it's like really nice, isn't it? Because yeah, you just get it. You're not like stressing about your kid being feral. <laughs> yeah, if we have time, we're going to stop and get some food, aren't we? Yes, because Fab is like a child, right? And can't organise himself in the morning. So no. I, have you been to the toilet actually? Uh, partly. partly. I don't yeah. want to know the other part, thank you. or any good. Oh yes. Right, it's actually turned out to be a really beautiful day. It's actually boiling hot and I wore a massive fleece. <laughs> Boys have woken up from their nap and are demanding food. <laughs> They've already eaten they, all their snacks. Yeah, we've given them their food, but Ari is now launching the snacks across the bar because they're not good enough. Ari. Um, but we're actually nearly there now. We totally underestimated London traffic and we are now going to be late. So we're probably not going to have time to... Hold on, boys. I really need a wee as well. Each step is pain. Are we basically doing a 5k? The boys are loving life. Woohoo! We made it. All right, Megan, you got to guess which twin is which. Oh, you told me. Oh, oh, you forgot. Oh, you did. Guess who this one. That's a yeah. massive yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, he goes off. No one mingles. Ari is Velcro baby. Yeah. Aren't you? Oh, oh. He's like, I'll prove you wrong. Oh, no. He's a straight. <laughs>
actually giving you a cuddle. Yay! Singing ba ba black sheep, ba ba black sheep. That's really cute, actually. Did you enjoy the workout? Yeah, it was good. Good fun. Yeah. Yeah, loved it. My workout was just running after these two. <laughs> Did you enjoy it, Megan? Did it go as you wanted? Yeah. It was awesome. I didn't know what to expect because I was like, what's going to happen? Yeah. And there's, I didn't know what age. Like, if there was those of, like, no one our age, I'd imagine them. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. You so. need, like, a newborn for this kind of thing, don't you? Yeah. Oh, do. there's a perfect <laughs> example. <laughs> Trying to make it back to the car now before <laughs> we get charged. It's, um, it's just basically us. Sprinting. You're being late. Yeah. <laughs> that was good though. Are we gonna grab some food now? Yeah. Should we like Are we going... get like out of London? Go yeah, get on the way home. Well, it's a Saturday. The boys had a rubbish nap, so they probably need to go to sleep fairly. They're getting a bit grouchy. I'm just worried if they go to sleep now, are they actually gonna sleep through the night? Well I'm thinking if they sleep for this bit now, then we stop in like an hour's time. Yeah. Get out, all have some tea. Yeah. Then I'll try and keep I'll sit in the back if you want. Okay. But if you're looking for a place to park in London, I will put on the screen where we parked. Well, this is Hackney. In Hackney, yeah. We didn't know the situation about parking on side roads, so we just booked to park in this like gated. By uh, your parking space. Your parking space cool. is called. Cool. London traffic is never fun, and neither is sitting in this awkward position for 15 minutes, but it did help get the boys to sleep when I stroked their hair. We drove for an hour and then stopped off at Beaconsfield Services, which apparently is one of the best in the UK and it did have a Nando's, which is our favorite. Oh no. <laughs> it's karaoke time, because we are in the depths of trying to keep, trying to keep them awake. <laughs> This is their favourite song. Can you come? 
Ghostbusters! Mr. Sun. Sorry, just come in a bit earlier. Oh, Mr. Sun. Go on, Noah. Mr. Golden Sun. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. I got the real thing there. Banana phone. Oh, yeah. Come on, everyone. Circles, 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 circles. It's 6 a.m. on Sunday. <clears throat> Literally, my alarm didn't go off. Ellen just woke me up. I'm going to the gym, so more seat energy, the best pre workout can drink ever. Matt keeps me stocked up, so cheers, Matt. We're gonna go and hit a session, get it done early doors, because Ellen's got a long run this morning. And then today is all about the boys, because yesterday, even though they had fun, we felt a bit guilty. So I've just smashed 200 milligrams of caffeine and it doesn't look like the gym's open. Oh no. Should have checked the opening hour, shouldn't I? It's bank holiday. Seven. Oh no. your breakfast we're back from the run and we got some hungry boys that was awesome no watch no worrying about the distance just getting out and moving felt really good if you're looking to get started with exercise running lifting whatever it'll be just ease yourself into it don't worry about how fast you're going how far you're going how much you're lifting doesn't matter just get started boys are having their brekkie and you boys got some Weetabix today did I? Elle's making her brekkie over there. The usual, is it? Is there enough frozen raspberries for me? I bought you your own pack. Yes! Yes! Yeah, I'll have a strawberry ice cream, please. Yeah. Thanks. Mom. Draw mummy, go on, you draw it. Brilliant drawing. Dada. Who's that? Dada. 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 Cat. Cat. Is that a cat? Oh, brilliant drawing. Wipe it away. That's it. <laughs> Look outside and see if you can see any birdies. Elle is back from her run. We've got the doors open. It is a beautiful day today. This Look at this. Pardon? This is what May should be like. Yeah. Beautiful. How was your run? Yeah, good. I didn't have any pain. Shin splints were pretty fine. much gone? Yeah, I ran in um, compression socks today, which I've never run in before. And it seemed to help. Good. good. Yeah. I'm glad. Good. See, that rest was good discipline. I know. You look really pretty today. I like your hair. Oh, thanks. You've moved your dressing room around haven't you the other day Elle was like can I have your help for two minutes ended up being like hours of moving stuff around but it looks good now right it does look good now and I think it works better in terms of like filming and stuff because the whole point I had that room was so that I could like film clothing hauls and stuff um, and the light the other way around it just wasn't good so yeah, we switched all around. Okay, so I've got to speak quietly because the boys are literally asleep through there. But this is what I've done with my dressing room. So I've moved my mirror to here. I've then put my wardrobes along that wall. And then obviously the window's here. So wardrobes along here. I've decided to leave this open because I thought it looked quite nice. And I've got a few decorative bits that I needed to put somewhere. Um, and then around here, so this bit's not finished because I still need to put my mirror up on the wall, but I've got my dressing table like this now. Um, I do need to get a few like little, <laughs> lol, I need to sort this out. This was from my shower earlier. Um, but I need to get a few more bits for here and then I'm gonna keep all of my like 
ring lights and stuff here so it's all hidden because when I had it the other way around I didn't really have a place to put all my ring lights and stuff that wasn't kind of out of the way um so yeah this by the way is one of my most favorite quotes ever it's so true I'm exactly who and what my baby needs I think the reason why I love this quote so much is because nowadays so many people are so quick to kind of like jump in and tell you how you should parent and etc etc and to be honest I quite I find that quite overwhelming it used to get to me quite a lot but now I keep this on my little dressing table so that every time I get ready I can remind myself that I am exactly who my baby needs and I am exactly what my baby needs as well so yeah if you're struggling with that too remember this you know your baby's best mm. oh my god what Mm. Do you want to show what you got in the my protein order? Let's do a quick haul. Mm. Show them what you got. So, these are my vitamins. Can I have one? No! Hair, skin, hair and nails. skin and nails. You they taste nice. Clear way. If you don't know about this, you need to get to know. By the way, you're not having any of this. You know that. Well, I said at the time of ordering, yeah, get some clear way. So no, yes, I, I am. I told you to order what you wanted. You no. ordered this. Banana. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll sneak down and you won't notice. I, what I do is I take one scoop out and I put a scoop of flour back in. Ew. Yeah, I got banana. I always have this at Matt's. Banana flavour, my protein powder. Yeah. So I've got so it here. you can have that one. Because I did actually give you... All right, all right, all right, all right. And, and then I got these to try, which are the lean layered protein bars. And then I also got these ones too, which are the white chocolate and raspberry ones. And I basically just got like loads of samples of stuff because I'm very You're fussy picky when with protein bars. I'm so fussy when it comes to protein bars. So I thought if I order quite a few, then I can um, try them. So I've got this toasted marshmallow one. I've got two of those. In fact, I did actually get you one because I knew you would. Thanks. Try them on. I've got this Whoa. one, which is chocolate caramel crispy layers. Yeah. You've got these lean cookie box. Yeah. No, I got one of these. One of these is mine. Okay. Well, it's their electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Trying them out. We usually go with bulk for bulk protein powders for protein. Them, apart from the clear way. But yeah. in my protein, so this is how funny, fussy I am, right? What? In my protein, I have to have bulk powders, protein powder. And for clear way, I have to have this one, my protein clear way. And Ellen has just been, I've been tidy enough whilst Al's been putting the covers back on the car seat. Yeah. Because. On the way to London yesterday, Noah was projectile sick all over the seat. It went absolutely over it, all over him. Completely our fault. It was basically because we gave them breakfast and then we had to leave straight away. And the roads before we got to the motorway are super windy. So pretty certain, 99% certain it was just travel sickness because he was fine for the rest of the day, but it got in all the nooks and crannies. So we had to take the whole covers off and what they needed a wash anyway. Are you having lunch? I was gonna have some tea, but we haven't really got much. In fact, I need I to- I bet you there's, there's to... there'll be snacks there. Probably we're going to the, we're going to a birthday party. The boys have been invited to their first birthday party, it's which we're not gonna vlog because there'll be loads of other babies and kids there, but. Oh, that's sick. Ellen is, can you not say what you're doing in case your dad, your dad doesn't watch them, does he? No. If you are dad, please. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen is making a gift for her dad's birthday because you did the half marathon together, didn't you? Yeah. And my dad's always been like my my running inspiration. So it's just been his birthday, and I wanted to make him something like special to keep instead of buying him something. So I'm gonna make this for him. Be nice. I yeah. can't wait to see you. Yeah, a couple of health things going on at the moment, as always, I feel like with me, but um, a couple of months ago, I saw somebody uploaded a picture of a pink Coke can for breast cancer awareness on their story, and it literally just said, like, check your breasts or check your boobs or something like that, so it, it made me go and check mine, and it came up that well it, I noticed that I had like a dimple um, on my boob um, which hadn't obviously been there before it was something completely new so I went to the doctors they got me in for a 
emergency two week scan turns out that there wasn't anything there at the time of when I went to the scan um, and then like after that I just like had a few like different health things wasn't it like I was yeah. getting really anxious um, really quickly like really aggravated like I completely just like you were also getting really dizzy all the time yeah like daily yeah like dizzy tiredness etc etc so all of these things as well as the breast cancer scare was all going on and I think it all kind of like compounded yeah yeah anyway the last couple of months like my anxiety got really really bad um so I went to the doctors to like see what they suggested that I do they put me on medication for it but the medication kind of like completely plateaued my mood like I would I would never feel like happy I would never feel sad like I couldn't cry it completely just it it got rid of the anxiety <laughs> yeah. but I just didn't really feel anything at all yeah um, you felt then, like it helped you control the anxiety yeah you were saying that but yeah like I I would go through the day just like having like a panic attack it was something so stupid wasn't I anyway um I had a blood test at the time to test out a few different things. I can't remember. Because you were getting dizzy. Yeah. You getting, it was because of the dizziness. You went to the doctor. Yeah. And so, yeah, they put me on that to put it all down to having anxiety. Anyway, the recently I've been feeling really tired, really dizzy. Um, and then what sparked me to go back to the doctors was the fact that I was having horrendous night sweats, like oh, yeah. to the point where we were having to like dry out the mattress in the morning because the bed was just sopping wet. Like my hair looked like I'd just gone for a run. Mm. It was really bad. Um, and went back to the doctors, and they basically said that the blood test that I had a couple of months ago, and um, when they put me on the medication for anxiety, um, that blood test came back that I was actually anemic, but. I spoke to the doctor's receptionist about my test results and she, at the time she was just like oh like your iron's just a little bit low but you'll be all right yeah and then I never heard anything back from it but when I went back to the doctors about all of these other symptoms that I'm having minus the anxiety because of the tablets that I was on um she basically said like from this it's showing that you're anemic will you not put on iron or anything for um like your low iron I was like no like the receptionist that she just said that I had low, a little bit of low iron there apart from that everything else was fine um, and going into this doctor's appointment about the night sweats I kind of said that I um, didn't want to be on the anxiety medication anymore because I wasn't feeling my emotions I wasn't feeling myself um, and like I didn't really like I never really towards the end I was like I don't really need to be on this medicine like I don't particularly think it's what they think it is um but also going into this my mum has got Graves disease I'm sure she won't mind me saying but my mum's um got Graves disease and Graves disease um is to do with your thyroid I think it's an overactive thyroid so yeah that is what I thought I had going into that doctor's appointment but it turns out that I'm just anemic and I've now been put on iron and literally all of my symptoms have gone yeah. all of them and I just feel like I've come alive again I'm so much more myself so much more like emotional but that's how I am emotional in a good way of like feeling happy excited and yeah. feeling funny and like goofy yeah and like yeah. to be honest probably since you had the boys you've been anemic yeah, because I was extremely in, low iron. I was anemic or oh, had low iron in pregnancy, and I just don't. And then I lost a load of blood during my. C-section. Did they give you iron to take after no. you? No. No. I was kind of. Do you know what the aftercare after I had the boys? Considering, like I could have died. Um, it was rubbish. Why you just had you literally had ibuprofen and paracetamol, those little jabs for your tummy, and then that was it. Nobody checked. But it is savage. The and fact that they do that, they like cut your stomach open and do like massive surgery, and then yeah. they're like, "Oh, go and look after this baby." Yeah. 
Yeah. The thing so, is, though, at least the positive is you know now, and it's been like an instant change. Oh, it has. Like I'm so. The fact you d- you trained more. for your half marathon and stuff, <laughs> whilst extremely low iron, iron I don't know. has such an impact. So like rubbish. Yeah. So drained. Like I was saying to the doctor, I said I feel like the tiredness is like worse than the first trimester of pregnancy. And if you've ever had been in the first trimester of pregnancy, that tiredness, it gets like three o'clock and I just crash, wouldn't I? Yeah. I'd be like Yeah. Ridiculous. But yeah, it turns out just anemic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm so much more myself, so much more fun, so much more bubbly. Life's yeah. just like It's nice to have you back like that. Breezy, you know? Yeah. You're not feeding very well. No, Fab just like literally threw his phone on my head. I just bumped my phone on the head. You know, you drop your phone on your face. I basically did that to you. I'm sorry. So we've got a delivery. We are watching the new season of Glower. We had a brilliant time at the party. I'll insert a clip here of the boys playing on the climbing frame. They loved it, didn't they? Yeah. Right, we're going to end the video there um, because the battery is about to die. So let's hope we can outro this. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below, let us know what you thought of the video. And we'll see yeah. you next week.